Hey, hello everybody. We're back. <laughs> uh, there we go. See what happened was uh, we had a little fun at the top with some Pornhub, and uh, I saw we got we got locked out. <laughs> so I figured instead of going through the hassle of doing everything, why don't we just um, re re landscape it up? Phil's going to come back in in a second. I got to make sure our guests all have the um, the uh, the link. <laughs> so, <laughs> I screwed up again. I didn't know the Pornhub would uh, knock us off. I thought it was a funny commercial. But we're back. Just waiting for Phil to log back in. Uh, Rob Estes is coming on. He's going to... Uh, <laughs> I got to make sure he's got the new link. <laughs> and uh, we'll be good to go. So I see everybody... Popping on, Judy, Rory, Connie, Michelle. I don't see. I was a pretty funny spot, right? <laughs> Looking for Phil. Should be coming on. Let's see what's going on. Hold on. Look at everybody going. I sent them a new leak. We got Rob Estes on tonight. We got sister. Uh, hello, sister. These cute girls from Orlando, they're uh, like 12, 13, 14 years old. Um, they're going to be coming on to sing for us a little bit. Just waiting for uh, Phil to log on. Hi, everybody. Everybody doing well? It's Thursday. We're going to have ourselves some kind of night. And, um, you know, I figured why I didn't want everybody to get locked out again. And then I have to re-upload the show. And uh, I figured let's just let's just start again. Hope everybody's doing well. Suki be back next week. She says she'll be back next week. Uh, Phil ought to be logging. Phil, where are you? How long does it take to, to log in? <laughs> Let's see what's happening. Hope everybody's doing well. We're going to sing tonight. We're going to dance. I got my daughter here with an Afro wig. Uh, here's Rob. Let's see. What's Rob? happening? Look at you. Look at you. So, Rob, here's what just happened, bud. I just oh, everything fell apart. I, everything fell apart because I screwed up again. It's the link, right? What? You what? Know, well, the other night, you know, I had Big Show on from WWE. Okay. I work for WWE. You would think it's okay for us to play videos from WWE. The minute I played the video, Facebook, I guess WWE's got a copyright on the video. Facebook locked us up. We were doing the show, but people couldn't comment. They couldn't watch the show. I had to download it, cut out the video, put it back up. So tonight, wow. I so, had a, so, had so a is fun. it fixed now, or is it? Well, no. I I had tonight. I had a funny open to the show. It was a commercial. You didn't know what it was for until the end, and it was for Pornhub. Ah, <laughs> of course so, it was. What else would it be for? Right. So <laughs> as soon as that came on, I noticed all all the viewers went away. The comments locked up. I said, um, Phil, let's just shut it down. I'm going to start it up again. And now I lost him. I don't know where he is, but how are you, my friend? I'm hanging, man. You good? I'm good. You're uh, you're out there in California, right? Everything's good. You, you're doing well. I'm out here in San Clemente, uh, Donaldson's hometown, little town, hanging out. Just there got back go. from the All right, hold on. I think I think Phil's back. There he is. <laughs> Big Hello. Phil. I'm back. How you doing, Rob? Hello, Rob. What's happening? <laughs> Not too much. Trying to get back in the show. Here I am. I finally made it. <laughs> now, look, I think I see I can actually switch you guys around now. You got Sweet. power. Now it looks like a real show, Rob. How you doing, pal? Listen, finally got you on. You're friggin' as good looking as ever. That pisses me off a little oh. bit. But uh, <laughs> listen, what are you going to do? Exactly. Exactly. You know, hey, uh, I was. Uh, you're about roughly my same age and you've spent over, you know, 30 years in, in this business, film, television and killing it in the business. And I don't know whether to believe what I'm reading because you, you only look like you're like 30 years old anyway. That's, yeah, right. No, I'm 65. <laughs> He's not 65. That's, that's I don't believe that. <laughs> you see that part gave me the truth. Yeah. He's like, oh, uh, right. <laughs> so when, uh, you start uh, all the acting that you've done, like I say, tremendous uh, film, t TV, everything. You play a lot of cops, which I really, really like being retired. I, I play a ton of cops. Yeah. I, and being, 
if I think I, if I had to go back, it's an odd time to say this, but I'd love to go back and be a cop. If I was to do things all over again, you know what I mean? It's fun to play them, but it would be very interesting to be a cop. Yeah, yeah. especially this day and age. Oh man, totally. Yeah, uh, when you there are a lot of I think there are a lot of very good ones. So, you know, a lot of the ones that I know are great. Me too. Yeah, I I, I retired after 29 years, man, uh, in oh, April. No, so, no. yeah, I was. I was. I didn't know that. Good for you. Yeah, I was in the military and a cop for 40 years, man. And so now I'm uh this is what I'm doing working with this guy, man. And he's uh <laughs> yeah, that's a good, that's Rob, a good gig to talk sports and, you know, whatever else. Rob Just Suki okay. Suki's been off all summer. She's been shooting for TLC, hosting a few of those, you know, fun dating shows. So Phil's been filling in. He was one of our first guests. The guy was a cop in Oklahoma City singing in his car. No. And he, he went viral. 100 million views on Facebook. <laughs> oh, Phil, I'm embarrassed. I'm going to look you up after this. I didn't oh, know forget it. Well, well, here's the thing. His page has been was hacked recently. By a Russian. The guy's got <laughs> by, by Pornhub. But <laughs> guy's got half a million followers, a hundred million uh, views, and the women love him. And uh, you know they're all loving you right now here on the page. So let's talk about it, man. Listen, when, when people, as soon as they see your face, right? It's either to me. This is for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Silk stockings, number one. Yeah. And, and let me tell you something, uh, Mitzi. Oh my God, I was in love yeah. with her back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Mitzi's such a good egg. Yeah, yeah. We, we, had, we had a great time shooting that show. Yeah, uh, we you, shot in San Diego. Uh, we became best friends. So a lot of what oh <laughs> <laughs> there you go, oh bud. <laughs> my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, look at her. Come oh, on. Is, is that a that is a gorgeous woman right there? I gotta tell you. <laughs> um, and I was oh, like, man, did, you know, the the you guys had that the, the good great thing about the show was was really the the sexual tension between you two. But nothing, you guys never really got together. Yeah, show, I, think right? it, uh, I think the last, no, the last season we did, and then she got pregnant. And then uh, I decided that I wanted to go uh, and shoot uh, another show with uh, Adrian Brody, Heather Graham, uh, Clarence Williams. It's killer cast. Yeah. Um, so in, in the, the one of the last episodes was her pregnant and me dying, and they kind of mined the drama out of that. Yeah. But yeah, that was a great show. And we what didn't have much job. oversight, man. They just kind of let us do what we wanted to do because we we were a little bit under the radar, you know? Crime time yeah. after prime time. Yeah. yeah. A, lot of, a lot of pastel colors in that show, I remember, oh right? <laughs> well, oddly enough, the guy who was our DP, <laughs> I, won't, I won't use his name, but he did a lot of shrooms. Oh, really? <laughs> he came up with that concept on shrooms and sold it, and we were all like, Damn, that's that's sharp. That's actually different. <laughs> um, and so they get they let him run wild, which they don't do as much anymore. But I think because our licensing fee was pretty low, uh, they just let us run it. Um, and we almost went prime time. Uh, Jeff Skiansky, the guy who owns, uh, you know, he ran CBS at the time. We we're going to do the upfronts in New York and announce us prime time at a 10 o'clock time slot. I don't recall what night of the week. In the last minute, Sagansky uh, got a cold feet because there'd never been a cable network deal. Right. You know what I mean? It was USA yeah. Cable Network. And the network thought it would make them look uh, less than the other networks. And the reality is they would have been complete front runners because mm -hmm. now everybody does it. I mean, oh, yeah. 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 When, when you say. When you say network now, you know, it doesn't matter. Cable, regular, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yep. Right. So yeah, but anyway, we, we had the chance to be the front runners and uh, they didn't take it. But uh, anyway, long story short, we had a blast uh, shooting that show. Unbelievable, man. Yeah. Hey, Rob, I like to ever ask everybody this, uh, you know, as someone who's trying to uh, start out in this business. When you uh, I read that you started acting, you're originally going to be a stunt double. You're I working to towards. Yeah. 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 So you started training well, so, in that, or how'd that happen? Gosh, so I went to high school with Amelia Westavez, Charlie Sheen, Rob Lowe, Nicolas Cage. Wow. Sean, Sean Penn, Holly Robinson. Like, it was I, – I went to Santa Monica High School, and they were all – they all lived in Malibu. That's where all the – Half the outsiders, Rob. Half the outsiders right oh, there. Exactly, and that's how it happened. 
They used to do, they used to make little films on buses. Like they'd be on the bus to school using squibs. I mean, these kids were connected. Long story short, one of them was in the stunt. The kid's dad was a big stunt man. And uh, I, I went and worked, worked with Hubie Kearns, who is uh, the original Batman stunt double. And just went to school with him for a year and a half to learn how to get set on fire, fight, jump out of buildings, get hit by cars, drop motorcycles. Yeah. Um, so I dug that, but it's that stunt, man. It's a rough life. Yeah. Uh, one, night, one night we read scenes um, and I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. Uh, and long story short, I ended up going to USC and getting a BFA. Um, USC? Then, you know, went from there. But sorry, what was your question, though, about... No, no, no. no I, was, I was just asking how you how you got into the stunt thing and yeah. how that transitioned over into the acting. Yeah, I mean, I, I wanted I was an athlete, but I was never big enough or fast enough. You know what I mean? But I love physical. So that was my first uh, uh, venture into it just because it was so physical and you had to be able to, you know, be able to do things and be smart and physical at the same time. So the tracks so, are the other the other thing uh that i was very very jealous uh about was uh, another show called melrose place <laughs> um i mean like look, look, come on man look, look at what's happening here I'm not seeing lisa Reno lately but she still looks beautiful which one lisa well both oh, of them but lisa, lisa Rena, and i mean look at the look at the people on this show jack wagner <laughs> right lisa heather grand show uh your wife at the time right josie yeah. Bissett. Yeah, um, Courtney Kelly Rutherford, Kelly Rutherford, who yeah, ended up dating my best friend for a very long time. My best friend worked his way through a lot of that. We <laughs> 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 ended up marrying, <laughs> marrying uh, Thor, uh, Courtney Thorne Smith. Right. He went out with I think he went out with four of them and ended up marrying one. So funny, um, and I, I, Phil, I was watching it. I was watching you uh, today, Rob, with um, a, an old, old. Um, Oh Jesus! I just lost his name from uh, from from uh, Comedy Set, The Daily Show. But my favorite oh, guy, Stuart. Jo right, John Stewart. Yeah, and yeah. he would he, he would you, it was when you were on the show at the time, and he was going through the list of the women you had slept with on the show as part of your character, <laughs> and I felt his pain while he was talking. Dude. It was unbelievable. I have to say that was not a rough life. <laughs> <laughs> was I, that was fun. Um, and just good people. I mean, Heather's yeah. awesome. She's such a good egg. Um, and it, you know, the majority of, of people on that show were, uh, really good, really fun. So great, man. Yeah. yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's a good life, but, um, and I'm going to uh, coming up in just a little bit, you know, cause you've been on so many different shows and movies. Uh, I'm going to put you up against Phil, uh, in the IMDB, um, synopsis quiz. Okay. Where they're all they're all um, you know plots of things that you've been in with characters you've played. I'm going to put you guys against each other to see who can who can tell me the names of these shows and movies. Oh, I'm oh, in trouble. Man. Okay. Yeah, I'm horrible with that. I'm horrible. With that. <laughs> um, but listen, Phil, you know what? He's got a new movie. You got a new movie coming out or out right now, right? Yeah, it's called After We Collided. Um, Anna Todd, she's a, a writer. Really interesting story. Um, you know, she, a lot of challenges. Um, her husband's uh, an Iraqi vet, and she started writing late at night. And she wrote uh, six books, and they're kind of young teenage romance. Um, and we shot, I shot the second of six of them, um, mm -hmm. and it dropped in Europe yesterday. Um, and it'll, I think it'll be out here when it's safe to go back to the movie theaters. You know what I mean? And then it'll be on Amazon Prime. Uh, and then I'm leaving to go and shoot for two months uh, back in Bulgaria to do the next two. And it's cool. Oh, it's sweet. Fun That's great, man. Sweet. Well, to hey, what, what and... Say yeah. again? What kind of character are you playing? I play uh, an alcoholic, cocaine-addicted gambler. Right. Who uh -huh. brought a lot of harm to his family. Wait, but I'm in gonna... the end, I learned some lessons. When you when you look up Phil, when you look up the movie after we collided, the, you, your character is Ken Scott, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. In the movie, okay. So the description of Ken Scott, it says, I'm going to read it to you. It says Ken is a middle aged man with trim gray hair, green <laughs> eyes, and a lean figure, always seen wearing expensive suits and watches 
I'm thinking to myself, Jesus Christ, how come I'm not playing Ken Scott, man? <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> no, you're, I know your name was on the list when they were. I was, you, I, I was up for that part. Yeah, and they're like, I don't know. <laughs> He's got too much exposure already. We want somebody a little more. Under there. Yeah, I mean, you guys look a whole lot alike. So I, oh, yeah, I totally understand that, Scott. So funny. Let's go. <laughs> uh, and listen, I, I, I um, the other thing really, nine oh two one oh, the reboot. Right, you were you played the dad, one of the dads in that show. Yep, I did. I did. Um, yeah, I had, uh, one of my buddies, uh, Gabe. Um, they asked him to executive produce it, and I had a show on called not the evidence, a uh, woman's murder club, and yeah. we got canceled um, at the upfronts. And my phone rang as soon as they announced that we were canceled, and it was my buddy Gabe who I went to USC with. He was this young geeky writer and I was this wannabe actor and we were all like, someday we'll work together. And <laughs> we always did connect and always said, okay, you know, you're busy. I can't do this one. But anyway, we had this big gap. And uh, so anyway, I went from no job to four hours later, hey, do you want to do the show? And it was with Lori Loughlin. Lori Loughlin yeah. called me at the same time. He kind of, he kind of, he kind of used her. <laughs> He's like, hey, Rob, I got somebody who wants to talk to you. It's Lori Loughlin who I, think is amazing and you know she just said hey come do the show with me me and gabe i'm like all right i'm in done yeah, but, and nice. listen, I, I, we nice. won't even go we won't even get go into the her news and let, i know like, i know i don't want to get you into that at all yeah no i regardless of she she's a great human being yeah, yeah no, she is. Always, we, i mean i still, listen, I still love her to death man oh, i still love her to death yeah man so, you know, mistakes happen and you know to the best of us yeah, um, not only that, some of the things going on in this country, and that's yeah. what we want. That's what we want to. Yeah, you know, focus and I got to ask Lori because we've been champions of each other, and she's always helped me, and I've always helped her. So it's all good. No, but I'm noticing yeah. the uh, guitars in the back. You play? You know what? I do. I don't play very well, but I've played for years. Um, got to do it, bro. You got to grab it. No, I can't. I never. What's, your favorite, what's your favorite cover? I'll the liquor shoes, though. I'll put those on. What's play that? I said, I'll grab my Laker shoes. Oh, your Laker? Who's on them? <laughs> Say it again. Whose shoes are those? They're mine. They're Converse. Oh, Converse okay. Converse are my shoes, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, listen, you you and I uh, have a mutual friend in James Grant. Yeah, James. James Grant, the PR guru here in New York. Who, yep. He is the man. And I guess you guys know each other from way back. And I said, I said, James, is there any, is there a tidbit you can give me about Rob from way back when oh, that no. you remember? Uh, and the one thing he wrote back, aside from you being a, a very funny guy, he said that back then you did a mean Michael Jackson impersonation. Yeah. Is that true? That's actually how I got my first job, man, dancing. I was one of the, you know, I had long blonde hair um, and uh, was into break dancing. I had friends in Santa Monica that, oh, look at that. That's so <laughs> Um Yeah, so, you know, you know um, we were in a fraternity together and I was some of the um, entertainment dancing. But one night some lady was like, hey, uh, I, I, I cast a TV show called... Uh, Oh my gosh. Days of our lives. Thank you. That's the yeah, ago. Days of our lives. Yeah, yeah, that show. A small part on it and dance. And I was like, yeah. And it kind of went from that to having a role on the show and doing commercials, dancing. So it was cool. It was fun. I believe you yeah, I believe you played Glenn Gallagher on Days of Our I Lives. I did play Glenn, Glenn Gallagher. I was yeah. uh I was vying for Jennifer's uh Virginity at the time, if I recall. Nice. You're, you're, you're always vying for somebody's virginity. You gotta buy for something. I didn't get it though. Frankie got it. <laughs> and and, and got it. how old were you right here? <laughs> I think I was 12. <laughs> I was same, old man. enough to know better than to take that photo. Uh, <laughs> so it's how great. Old I was. It's oh great. And, and listen, you know, when you when you look at this, I mean, you, I was like, you know, this is the coolest guy in America right now. You know, you're playing the cop and you, and you with Mitzi. And I was just like, man, this guy's got it. He's got the life of Riley. And then you saw the other picture and you went, ah. <laughs> yeah, it was funny because when we were doing Silk Stockings the night before we filmed, without telling anybody, I dyed my hair jet black. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and I showed him my because I was like, I don't know, I wanted to be the Elvis detective. You know what I mean? 
Like nobody yeah. can kind of do that. But I showed up on set the next day and they were like, what? You, you can't do that. And I was like, well, you kind of did. <laughs> so, uh, whatever, awesome. it worked. Sometimes you take risks and uh, they're good. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> True. So, so with the Michael Jackson impersonation, I mean, moonwalk and crotch grab and everything or what? Um, I was never into uh, the crotch grab, um, but I could moonwalk. It was, it was more break dancing. It was more like popping and locking and, and doing a lot of gymnastics on the floor, getting super sweaty. And then there's James, Grant. James was doing the tango. James, yeah, James doing the tango. <laughs> Having full form and yes, yes. And look beautiful. Right, right. You can see, I could see James. I could see he wasn't sweating. I could see James as a, uh, I should have put a picture. He could be a, like a judge on Dancing with the Stars, right, James? He was. There's something so, what's the word? Just well tuned and fine about whatever. Like elegant, yeah, he's like an elegant guy, right? And then he talks, and the things that he says are deep and smart and very well spoken. You're like, I, how? Okay. Yeah. He, he's, uh, he's definitely one in a million. And he yeah. runs a red carpet like nobody's business. Oh, I can tell you that. Sure. He runs everything like nobody's business. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, like, it's great. Are you guys you guys ready to play a little IMDB plot line? Let's sure. go, baby. All right. So the way this works is, Rob, you're going to go first. I'm going to read you the plot right off from I took from IMDB. Okay. Let me finish the whole thing before you answer. You tell me the name of the show or movie and the character that you played. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Let's see. All Let's right. see. Right, listen. If you, uh, there's a lot of them, man. You've done a lot of stuff. It's unbelievable. Uh, I'm there sure I've forgotten most of them. I'll finish it. There, 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 like, Ten seconds each. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> no, I left days well, I have, off. I have, I have ten seconds to answer. No, no, I, no. The read, I, the the description is about ten seconds each. Gotcha. Ah. Here's the first one. A Long Island psychotherapist personal life unravels when she finds her husband cheating. Diving fully into her work, Dr. Danny Santino soon finds herself as the most sought-after therapist for high-profile clients. I have no idea. No, I, I believe I believe John Stamos may have been in this show with you. I still don't know. I'll even I'll give you the character. <laughs> it won't help. Rob Maroney. Oh wait! So this isn't something that I've been in. This is just a show. No, you you according to IMDb, you've been in this. I, unless I, it was, what unless is it called? Necessary roughness. Oh my God! Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Phil, he wasn't on it when I was on it. Phil, gotcha. you know what's amazing? When you've been, I, I, I in, you've anyway. been in so many shows, you can't even remember half of them. Well, holy cow! Well, I mean, I'm, that, I'm just that dumb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's been killing it for many, many years. I mean, how could you keep up with that? Oh my All right, God. Now, now listen, right, so Phil, Phil is a huge fan, Phil's a huge fan of yours. So I'm gonna let's see if he gets this one. Phil, let me finish it. Here we go. A novice sleuth is hired by police after he cons them into thinking he's got psychic powers, which help solve crimes. With the assistance of his reluctant best friend, the duo take on a series of complicated cases. What's the show? What was Rob's? Name in the show, dude. I remember watching that. Oh really? my god! Um, um, uh, I don't remember Beaumont or something like that. I believe is the character. The show obviously was Psych. Nicely done, my friend. <laughs> Excellent. First, I've, been watch, I've been watching you for a long time, man. Rob I Jordan, love. Jordan Beaumont. You remember that one? Yes, I remember right. Jordan. Here we go. This one's for Rob. You're gonna get okay. this one. A homicide detective, a medical examiner, a newspaper reporter, and a young assistant district attorney work together to solve homicide investigations. Uh, Women's Murder Club. Nicely done. What was your character's name? Oh, I was the captain. I was, uh, <laughs> God, is it another Kyle? Uh, no. 
Kyle, Kyle is from Melrose Place. Yeah, but I've played a couple of Kyles. Um, I don't recall. Ooh. I'm trying to remember from the books. I can't remember the name, but it's Women's Murder Club. Women's Murder Club. Your character was Tom Hogan. <sighs> Tom Hogan. <laughs> all the, all the, all the women are writing. They're all, they're all writing. Google the answers, Rob. Google them. <laughs> all right, couple more. Couple oh, more. No, I should just pull up my IMDb. What am I thinking? That, man. I'm trying to be clear. I'm trying to be clear here. All right, Phil, this one's for you. Couple more. A self proclaimed dating expert tries to get his best friend who lost his wife two years ago back into the dating scene with disastrous results. Hey, Tell read me that the one. Of this project. Read it one more time. Self proclaimed dating expert tries to get his best friend who lost his wife two years earlier back into the dating scene with disastrous results. Give me the name and the character that Rob played. Dating. How to something about how to how to start how to start how to start dating again in Queens. How to how to go out and how to go out on a date in Queens? That's the like answer, that. my friend. <laughs> <laughs> and what what was his character's name? You remember? Mm, uh, Marty Artie 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 is the right answer. Rob, <laughs> you know that? You won. He's killing. Did you know that, Rob, or no? Um, I knew it was how to go out on a date in Queens because I produced it, but it was so crazy producing it uh, right. that I. Completely forgot the name of the character. <laughs> <laughs> it started out right. It's like I should I should know this. Two more to go, Rob. Two more to okay. go. A group of people are trapped in a deserted mall during a flood, along with an escaped prisoner. What's the name of that movie slash show? Uh, Escape from the mall. Oh no, they changed it. A deserted mall during a flood with an yeah. escape. Yeah, I remember we shot it in Berlin um, at actually at one of Hitler's ex studios, Bobbleberg Studio. Um, wow. Yeah, it was it was initially called um, Terror in the Mall. Nice, nicely done, my friend. Do you remember the name of the character that you played? Um, bad guy. Bad guy's the name of the character. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, do you have name. Know? Phil, do you remember the name of the character? Um, 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 if he remembers uh, this, I don't trust that he's not cheating somewhere over there. Um, he's not. I've never spoken to this man in my life. Savoy. <laughs> I don't remember the first name. Savoy was the last name, though. Savoy is correct. What is the, Jeez, what's the first name? <laughs> what's that? What's the first name of the of his character? Quinn. Glenn. Glenn. Glenn Savoy is the correct answer. Phil, you're unbelievable. Phil, you're good at this. That's crazy, man. All right, uh, Rob, this is the last one. Here last you go. One. I'm going yeah, to you. You. I'm gonna give it to you. You're going to get this one. Okay. A guy named Eric owns a huge house, and some greedy people want to build a mall over it. So they get someone to burn down his house. Eric's badly burned, but not dead. And a year later, the mall opens. What Shannon they don't the realize. Mall. What is it? Sorry. It's called. It was called Phantom in the Mall. Phantom in the Mall is correct. There's a little bit more to it. It's Phantom in the Mall, Eric's Revenge. Oh, I'll give it to him. He was living underneath the mall. Yeah, yeah, and what was your what was your character's name in that movie? I can only remember the name of the my female co-star. Um, I can't remember. No Phantom. clue. And Phantom at the Mall, Eric's Revenge. Phil, do you have any idea? Did you ever see the Rob Estes movie, Phantom yeah. at the Mall, Eric's Revenge? Heck yeah, man. I'm a, I'm an informational uh, savant. Um, Peter Baldwin. Peter Baldwin? Is that the... Oh, Peter, Peter Baldwin. Baldwin. The right Baldwin. Peter Baldwin's the right answer, for God's sakes. <laughs> Dude, I have been studying serious? your career. I've been studying your career for years. For years. Right. I, am, that's I, crazy. Crazy. You're, you're, I, that's I always win trivia pursuit as well. So don't feel yeah. bad. Yeah. Rob, I, I, I sent them all the answers before the show started. Yeah, there we go. That makes <laughs> I'm like, this, yeah. 
<laughs> is it like I'm just kind of embarrassed. I can't remember any of that stuff. But I guess <laughs> your names. I love it. One time. <laughs> so funny. Listen, man, before you go, um, do you still keep in touch with her? You know what? We have not talked. We when's the last time? It, it would be probably eight years. Oh, that really? Kind of, long. Yeah, I, I moved up to Seattle for a long time, uh, and when I came back down, uh, I moved to Orange County, and I, it's just it's, you know, and I don't even know where she is. I don't know if she's still in L.A. or right. well, but uh, she's oh, she's awesome. By the way, this was the cover for uh, Necessary Roughness right here. There it is. Yep. Yeah. Right. So you you weren't on when Stamos was there? No, I was a sports agent um, before he was there, and I think okay. I was. I, think I, did, I don't know. Four. Or so. I can't remember how many I did, but cool show. Sure. Rob, listen, man. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, on. Yeah, nice like to meet you. Star, after hearing about you from uh, Mr. Grant. Yeah. Well, all right. So listen. After we collided, it, I, it is out or it's coming out. Uh, it's out in Europe, and it's coming out here probably in October. We're in October, we're okay. exactly. And then the other, and it'll be on Amazon Prime. It'll it'll drop on there shortly as well. Okay. Is it coming out in theaters or on demand? How's it going to yeah, work? It'll there? come out in theaters. It's already out in theaters in Europe and a lot okay. of cities. In, any any place that they could get past COVID, they did. So right. it's that time, you know. Can't wait! Can't wait! Yeah. All right, Phil. Uh, hey, nice to meet you. I'm gonna look you up. Detective, yeah, do that, do that. thanks, man. It was nice talking to you. You as well. You as well. Yeah, Rob, look this guy up. You'll be amazed. It's unbelievable. All right, Scott. Rob, you're good, guys. Thank, thank you. All See right, you, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, what a great guy, right, Phil? Great guy. Great guy. Oh, yeah. Really awesome. Really good guy. So listen, we have uh the young ladies from Hello Sister are coming up. They're in the green room. Mm -hmm. They got their instruments ready. We're gonna meet them in just a second. Uh, but first I know a lot of folks, you know, because we, we had that little glitch at the beginning of the show. I'm glad I fixed it, but your fans, Phil, didn't get to hear you sing to kick off the show like they usually do. So before we bring the girls in for, for a little song and dance, give us a little something for your fans, because I've got thousands of them on the screen right here and they all <laughs> want to hear something from you, my friend. Okay. I'll give it a shot. <clears throat> Put your head on my shoulder, hold me in your arms, baby, squeeze me oh so tight, show me that you love me too, put your lips next to mine, dear. Won't you kiss me once, oh baby? Just a kiss, good night, maybe. You and I will fall in love. Put your head on my shoulder. Little Paul Anka. Not bad, my friend. Whisper in your ear, baby. <laughs> -na -na -na. All right. So listen, I, I want to. I was going to play a clip from the girls. Uh, I'm afraid we'll get shut down. <laughs> I know. I don't want to. I don't want to get us shut down again because every time I play a clip from somebody, we get shut down. Um, but it's from their own site. It's from YouTube. So I'm not even going to do it because we're we're already into the show and the girls are standing by. Um, so let's just, uh, let's bring in these, uh, lovely ladies because, uh, there's Phil, you talk about three girls who are ready to light <laughs> the world on fire. They are. There they are. Ladies. Hi, and girls. Hi. Hi girls. Hi What's girls. Up, ladies. Hi, how are you? The girls from hello sister. I was going to play one of your videos, but every time I play somebody's video, a copyright comes up and, and the show shuts down. Oh yeah. Um, so we got we have Grace, Gabriella, and Scarlett Mason, right? Tell me who's who. Oh, um, I'm Grace. I'm Gabriella, and I'm Scarlett. Wow! And Phil, they're 14, 13, and twelve. Collectively, we're still older than them, Phil. All three girls are still older than them. Yeah, that's awesome. So who who are the uh, the swimmers? Who are the swimmers? All of us swim. All of you guys swim. You guys yeah. swim and run, right? Yes. As well, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Staying in shape and playing music. I mean, what a great life, huh? Yes. 
I love it. So listen, so you guys are from Orlando, right? You're very close in age. Um, tell me what, what was it that got you guys, you know, into the whole music scene, playing the instruments and singing? Wow. When we were like really young, like we literally had baby videos, um, like six, <laughs> five, four of us just like banging on like well, me banging on paint cans and then right. got on like this to the guitar <laughs> and then singing. And then like our dad would always be playing music, the guitar around the house. Um, so and then our parents got us into music at a very young age, and we started taking lessons individually of our instruments, and then we just decided this is what we wanted to do together. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, girls. I love it. And let me tell you something. I, I took guitar and piano as a, as your age, and I gave it up, and I'm so mad I did. I'm so mad at my parents for letting me give it up because I, I could have been a big musician right now. Now And here I am. I'm just a broadcaster. You know what I mean? I could have been a big musician. So stick with it because you guys are already great. And yeah. you know, like you remind me of that group, you know the group Hanson, the Hanson brothers. Yeah, they actually come That's who you guys kind of remind me of, and you see, you see how big they became, right? And you just keep doing it and keep doing it, and you guys are gonna be great. I love it. Um, yeah. Thank you. You um you have a show, right? It's uh, you got a new show, Music Through the Decades, called Pop Through the Decades on YouTube. Yes. Yes. How's that going? It's, it's going very really well. We filmed it like at the beginning of this year in Nashville. It was super fun. And right now we're pitching it to some networks. So we're yeah. hoping for the best. Yeah, we're talking to some major TV networks. It's really awesome. Oh, nice. So are you, are you guys back in school now or do you homeschool or how's that how's that working? Yes. We're, we actually go to a public school. So yeah. We're yeah. We just, the only thing that's different is you have to stay six feet apart and we're wearing masks. Ah, yeah. Um, my daughter too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So when you girls get picked up by a major network, you're probably going to need someone to introduce you all the time with a really cool voice. And I think I think I could if I can audition for the part. For you guys around the country, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, hello, sister. Right? Yes. You're going to need somebody. I don't even need. I don't even need to get paid. I just want to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, listen, we have we have so many folks from around the country, some from around the world. Um, and I want you guys, you know, you, I know you sing some covers, you sing some some uh, original tunes. What are you going to what are you going to start with? Um, we're going to start with our original song, Middle School. Oh, the middle school. Yes. yes. Nice. All right. Great. Go ahead. Take it away. The floor is your hold on. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Hello Sister. One, two, three, four.
You get a 10 from Phil, girls. Because it's, e it's easy to dance. It's got a nice beat, and it's easy to dance to. So uh, <laughs> who who uh, do you got, who writes your songs? Do you guys work collectively to write, work on your music, or how does that work? Oh, we all think we did certain parts. Like, sometimes Gabriel will come up with a guitar. Like, Scott comes up with these cool riffs and lyrics. It's, we all do it together. It's so fun. And our dad also um, really big help. He also um, helps write all of like, our <laughs> Is, is that on uh, is that on Apple Music or other streaming services? Where can people get your music? Yes, middle school is on all music platforms, Spotify, iTunes, and the music video actually we shot at our middle school, which is super cool. <laughs> yeah, as well as our uh, other. Um, yeah, I bet your friends really hated that, huh? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Did you get to have a lot of your friends in the video? Yeah, yeah, it was a lot fun. of it. It was fun. That's nice. So, so who are some of your influences? I mean, do you guys like country, rock, a little bit of everything? Who are some of your? Uh, uh, everything. Um, our parents like had have introduced us to like a lot, a lot of different genres of music. Um, yeah, actually, one of the first songs we ever learned was "Right Now" by Van Halen. Oh, nice. Can so, you guys do, can you do a little of that? Um, we actually. Uh, uh, we learned it when I was like in first or second. Oh, so you don't remember? <laughs> right now, it's your tomorrow. Right now. Well, I know what you guys can do, though. Right now. Right oh, nice. I, I have a request, which I saw you guys do online. Uh, how about a little Maroon 5? What was the song you did? Maroon Five was pretty good. Memories. Memories. That was it. Can you you guys remember that one? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. You, you could you don't have to do the whole thing if you don't want. Just a little. Okay. Okay. We got. Yeah. One, one, two, three, four. Here's to the ones that we get. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not. Cause the dreams bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Toast to the ones here today. Toast to the ones that are last in the way. Cause the dreams bring back all the memories. And the memories bring back memories. Done, girls. Yeah. You guys get better and better every time I hear another song. It's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> how are you guys? How are you guys with song lyrics? Are you really good? Um, it depends on which song. <laughs> if I gave you, if I gave you a little song lyric test, oh, 
Do you think you guys would do okay if it was like if I picked three, three songs that were kind of in your wheelhouse? Ooh, yes. We'll try, yeah. All right. Phil, I know you're going to know these, but here's – I'm going to give you one. You let me know if you know the song, okay? Okay. You know you love me. You know I care. Um, baby by Justin Bieber. Baby, baby, baby. Oh, like ba – you know what part I know – I love when that because my daughter we sing that eight thousand times in the car, um, and I finally got the part down where, he, where, where Ludacris comes on and he goes, when "I was thirteen, I had my first love. When nobody come my baby and my mother come between us, I can never come above." You got me going crazy, right? I was I'm good. Yeah. Pretty good. You guys were good at that first one. Here we go. Ooh, it's something magical. It's in the air. It's in my blood. It's rushing on. I got. What did we go? I got Can't stop the feeling. Can't stop the feeling. Can't stop the feeling. I just. Justin Timberlake. You know I got sunshine in my pocket. I got that good sun in my feet. Got nothing when I rock it. When it's dark, I'm doing my best to never think of me. <laughs> Here's the last one. Very popular right now. You guys will get this one in a second. Breathe me in, breathe me out. I don't know if I can ever. Yeah. <laughs> Watermelon sugar, hi. Watermelon sugar, hi. Watermelon sugar, hi. That song is on the radio every five minutes. I know. Every five minutes it's on the radio. You guys want to do another one? Do one more for us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is a country song. Wait, country, so nice. Which one? Wasted Time by Keith Urban. Nice. Brings coming You guys are awesome. Everybody loves you. And I want to tell everybody who's watching, these girls, they are, they're a great family. They're going to be big. You guys go check out their music, download it, and listen to them because they are really, really good. Oh, Appreciate you guys. What, girls, What what's like your favorite, favorite, if you had to go on a show to win a million bucks, what would be like the one cover song you would play? That's your best cover song. <gasps> that is so hard. You've like, we know. Uh -huh. But if you had to, if you had to strategize, like you were going on America's Got Talent and you were in the finals, what would be, what would be the song? Yeah, uh, I would say so. I was just about to say that. <laughs> we we covered this one song by Madison Beer called Selfish. Okay. Um, but if we were to really show off like our instruments, that's more like a vocal that's more song. Of a song. Like to show off like I'm trying to think probably one of the we've done so many we do live shows often, so I'm trying to think we haven't done one in so long because of COVID and everything, but when we do then there's always I can't think of the song. Um there's one called um Maniac by Conan Gray. 
I think. Yes. Yeah, we love that song too because we all get to jam out together. Can you guys give us like a minute of that one? Um, <laughs> uh, can we do selfish instead? You can do whatever you want. It's up to you. Yeah. <laughs> You want it. You want it. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> million dollars. <laughs> that was so good. My hair grew during the entire song. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now my daughter just popped in. She said, throw this wig on. I said, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, girls, where can where can everybody see you? Where do they log on to see you guys? It's all, oh, wait, you know what? I'm such a dummy because I actually, I was trying to be a good executive producer and I put it all up there for you. Hello, Sister Music, right? I love that. Cool. That's cool. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. You guys, uh, Twitter's for like for us nerds, right? You guys don't do Twitter? It's pretty much everywhere on Hello, Sister, Hello, Sister Music. Hello, Sister Aww. Music. Beautiful. Girls, listen, awesome. you guys are great. Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. I have an electric guitar here with no strings on it that I got when I was 10. It's a reminder of my failed past. I don't want you to go down that road. <laughs> That's um, not going to happen with them. That's not going to happen. No, no, no. You guys are great. And you listen, just keep doing what you're doing. Get that network show. Don't forget who, who, your, who your announcer is when the time comes. Yes, yes definitely. <laughs> um, and what, uh, tell me again, when if people want to go on to see you, you guys have an animated series too, don't you? Yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah. Tell us real quick about that before you go. Okay, so yeah, it's an anime series. We all run it together. It's about us saving the world basically with our music. And each episode is one of our original songs. We like pull them together about yeah. the original songs. And where can we see that? Where can we see that? On our YouTube. YouTube channel. So our YouTube is uh. Hello Sister, where you can see all of our music videos, all of our series, our pop of the decades, everything's there. And our Instagram is at Hello Sister Music. TikTok at Hello Sister Music, and you can find us on all music platforms. Nice. Grace, Gabriella, Scarlett Mason. Boy, oh boy, your parents must be very proud. Girls, keep going. And please, when you when you guys hit it big, you'll come back on, right? Yes. Definitely. All right. Take care, ladies. Best of luck. We love you. Thanks, girls. We'll see you later. If you, when you go back and watch the show, you'll see all the comments from the viewers. Everybody loved you guys. Oh, thank you. Hi, girl. Hey. See you later. Bye. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Phil, they're amazing. Oh my gosh! Wow! Like, yeah, they're gonna be big. They're gonna right. be big. Oh my goodness! Wow! Unbelievable. 
What a what a geez, what a week of shows we had. Holy cow, Rob <laughs> Estes tonight. I mean, let, 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 take a look at this guy. Look, I mean, look at this career he's had. <laughs> it, this is unbelievable. Look at yeah. him. I mean, look at those good looking people. And uh and and the girls. Hello, sister. Wow. Look, they got a little attitude in that picture. Look, they got a little, little <laughs> yeah. But yeah. uh man, oh man, we had the big show on Tuesday night and uh um Tuesday. Oh, and we also had uh, Kevin Viner who was the uh, the mentalist. Oh, he, he was he was pulling off some crazy stuff. Yeah. You know, I've been and, thinking about this I've been thinking about this week, you know, a lot and and the the question I ask myself is and I'll pose it to you is where else can somebody go to see this kind of talent in one show free free entertainment yeah for free i mean nowhere you can't go anywhere and get that kind of uh show no i mean where else are you gonna see a guy wearing a juan epstein sweat hogs wig <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> and wait last, last night we had um I, I'm, my brain is so crazy who was on with us last night phil i can't even remember um <laughs> you can't remember either. Uh, we had a big guest on last night. Who we have? I totally forgot. <laughs> I don't remember what I had for dinner either. Phil, who was on? Who was on with us last night? Um, anybody remember who was on with us last night? <laughs> Do you remember? No, and that's you know that's just a uh, a testament to the sheer volume of fantastic shows that we put on night after night after like, night. Oh, we, oh, we had somebody just wrote. We had Doctor Ian and Mark the Trainer. See our audience remembers. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. It's, it's like uh, it's like Rob Estes can't remember all the movies he was in. It's unbelievable. <laughs> oh my God, that was funny. Um. Yeah, wow. He he had some career, man. A good looking dude. I mean, listen, when you gotta when you when you look like that and you're acting and and I mean, you know, everything's everything's beautiful. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, I wanted to ask him. Uh, you know, he was naming all the people that he went to high school with, uh, Emilio Estevez, and uh, you know, some of the other you know what's you know known as the brat pack back in those days you yeah. know I, I wanted to ask him what the high school reunions were like because that's oh got to be a God, I know it's got to be a blast <laughs> you would have thought you would have thought that was like beverly hills high school 90210 right <laughs> yeah <laughs> unreal man unreal all right well listen we uh you know this is our last show of the week we got we got another great week coming up um let's do a little singing man let's sing us out till uh for about 10 minutes we got we got some time Okay, let's start off with, let's do a little uh, Eagles with, uh, well, I'm running down the road trying to loosen my load. I got seven women on my mind, four that want to own me, two that want to stone me, one says she's a friend of mine. Take it easy, take it easy. Don't let the sound of your own wheels drive you crazy. Lighten up while you still can. Don't even try to understand. Just find a place to make your stand and take it easy. Take it, Scott. Oh, that was, those are the only words I know on that one. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, kick me in. How does the, how does it go to next? I'm, while I'm standing, standing on, on the corner in Winslow, Arizona, I got such a fine sight to see. There's a girl, my lord, in a flatbed Ford, slowing down to take a look at me. Come on, baby, don't say maybe. And uh, I sing better with the wig on. I think, Phil. I think I'm a better singer. I think it. I think it helps. I think it with helps. The wig. I think I'm better with the wig. <laughs> Give me another one. Yeah, just throw them out there. Okay. How about uh, wise men say only fools rush in, but I can't help. Falling in love with you. 
Like a river flows surely to the sea, darling, so it goes. Some things were meant to be. Take my hand, take my whole life too. For I can tell falling in love with you. Like a river flows surely to the sea, darling, so it goes. Some things are meant to be. Take my hand, oh, take my whole life too, for I can't help falling in love with you. <laughs> Someone wrote, Scott, please take the wig off your Miami Howard Stern. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, really? No, nah, I'm going to leave it on. I don't look like Howard, do I? Not much. I wouldn't mind being Howard Stern, I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, what else? Give, me another one. Give me another one, Phil. We, we, ever, we've ne we don't ever sing any of this guy, and he is awesome. Oh. Uh, don't go changing. Oh, baby. To try and please me. Mm -hmm. You never let me down before. Don't imagine you're too familiar. And I don't see you anymore. I would not need you. Times of trouble. We never could have come this far. I took the good times. I'll take the bad times, Phil. I'll take you just the way you are. Don't go trying some new fashion. Don't change the color of your hair. <laughs> you always have my unspoken passion, although I might not seem to care. I don't want clever conversation. I never want to work that hard. I just want someone that I can talk to, Phil. I want you just the way you are. All right, give me another one. Give me another one. Got a few minutes, few minutes left here on the countdown on the show. Remind me never to run Pornhub ads on our program again. Yeah, don't uh, do not do that. <laughs> I've got to shut down. Let me, ask our, uh, let me ask our viewers, guys. At the beginning of the show, if you were with us, did we get? Did it lock us out? Because I saw everything just the viewership went down, the comments went down, <laughs> and it said boom. So, But I don't see it. You guys see it if we got, if we got locked out. So just let me know in the, uh, in the comment section. All right, Philly, what else we got? Who do you want to do now? Do, uh, let's do a little... Uh... Oh, you know who we had, we've never done? How about Little River Band? Uh, like reminiscing? River Band? Yeah, how about a little uh, reminiscing? Oh, good. And then we'll do uh, Cool Changes. That's one of my favorites. Reminiscing, reminiscing. Go ahead. Friday night, it was late. I was walking you home. We got down to the gate, and I was dreaming of the night. Would it turn out right? How to tell you, girl? I want to build my world around you. want to tell you that it's true. I want to make you understand I'm talking about a lifetime plan. Well, that's the way it began. We were hand in hand. Glenn Miller's band was better than before. We yelled and screamed for more. And those Porter's tunes made us dance across the room. It ended all too soon. On the way back home, I promised you'd never be alone. 
hurry, don't be late. I can hardly wait, I said to myself, when we're old, we'll go dancing in the dark, walking through the park and reminiscing. Nice, nice. How about this one? You remember this one? If there's one thing in my life that's missing, it's the time that I spend alone sailing on the cool and bright clear water lots of those friendly people they're showing me ways to go but i never want to lose their inspiration phil take it baby time for a cool change i know that it's time for a cool change now that my life is so prearranged, I know that it's time for a cool change. Well, I was born in the sign of water, and it's there that I feel my best. The albatross and the whales, they are my brothers. It's kind of a special feeling when you're out on the sea alone. Staring at the full moon like a lover, Philly kid. Time for a cool change. I know that it's time for a cool change. Well, I've never been romantic, but sometimes I don't care. I know it may sound selfish, but let me breathe the air. Ah, oh, I like it. That's a good tune. It's a very good song. Yeah. Well, I got a grandkid in there who's waving at me out the window. What? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna, he doesn't he know we're on the air? What the heck? <laughs> he's going to spend the night tonight. So, <laughs> All right. I'll let you go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Great job tonight. Listen, we see all the, all the comments that come through. I see them all. I try to put them up if we can. Uh, we'll be back next Tuesday. Phil's working on his Facebook page. It'll be back one of these days. It's coming back. Uh, I know, Jordan, these shows are never long enough. You got it, bud. Um, <laughs> I can't start putting three. Can't start putting three three uh, guests on each show. It's a little too, it's a little too much work. Um, but I'm working on a, I'm working on a couple of biggies, Phil. Work, I, I, I fell into something. I'm working on a couple of big guests. Uh, already have a few for next week. It's going to be great. Uh, Sue yes. may or may not be back after Labor Day. Um, we'll see what's going on. But uh, until then, uh, Phil's yeah. working on his uh, his page. Yes, if you want to, Phil's been hacked. The videos that are being put up are not his. He's not posting monkeys and pole vaulters and all kinds of stuff. Um, but just, just sit tight and eventually the page, right, Phil? The page will be back to uh, working order. Yes, it's just about there. I've been talking to some tech gurus at Facebook, uh, you know, some people in the CIA, the Secret Service, right, uh, right, the FBI, right. and we're about to get it back. We're about to get it back. So <laughs> let's be back it. with a vengeance. <laughs> All right, my friend, let's give him a little good night, sweetheart, and we wrap it up. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Do, 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 do. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Do, 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 do. We hate to leave you, but we really must say, oh, oh good night, sweetheart. sweetheart. 